What up gamers, Big Papito here bringing you the advanced hidden secrets for Beelzebub. In this video, I venture deep into the dark, dirty recesses of Twitter where the fighting game scientific research community is hard at work and I catalog their findings for you. This video is gonna be a little different. There was simply too much knowledge to be had, so I had to split the video up into two volumes. The first one will cover the advanced techniques. And the second video is going to cover a variety of combos and situational setups. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when the second volume comes out later. And with that, let's get right into it. Let's start with something special. I think I already love Beelzebub and I'm going to main him. Just watch this and you'll know why. His unique teleport lets him dodge all of Loane's Idrisil moves. If you thought that was just a fluke, well, check out other people who are doing the same thing. You can't really just mash it, you do have to time it properly, but this is great news for anybody like me who hates Loane. Alright, let's talk more about this unique teleport of his. After a mid-screen throw, you will be perfectly positioned to teleport behind your opponent. You can teleport in after your medium projectile is blocked, setting yourself up for some interesting offensive options. If you charge the projectile, it hits 3 times instead of 2 times, giving you more time to set up an offensive and give you a potential frame trap. While the teleport is unsafe, it could really be used to mess with your opponent's mind, leading to some rage quit inducing moments. After this counter hit anti-air and a projectile, you can step forward to teleport behind your opponent or just teleport and end up in front of them. Apart from teleporting, Beelzebub can travel through the air in style with his dive kick as well. First thing to know is that your medium dive kick puts you plus on block if you space it out properly. If your air normals get blocked, you can cancel into the dive. If they block the dive, you can still be plus on block if you use the medium dive. If they think that you're going to eat a combo when you land, they're dead wrong. It can also be used in some interesting fuzzy setups. Here's an example of how you can use the dive after an anti-air to position yourself differently. Jump straight up to land at their back. Or jump backwards to land in front of them. 
Beelzebub has an interesting way to get out of corners. After landing certain hits, you can use his Karma ability, or his Gravity Orb, to pull them in and then dodge to the other side while they're suspended in the air. If you're being trapped in the corner, be patient and wait for that opportunity where you can switch sides and deal huge damage. Using the gravity orb and dodge, you can even choose to switch sides in the middle of a combo. So what do you all think so far? Doesn't Beelzebub seem so incredibly strong? His toolkit seems so great, and we haven't even talked about the best part yet. Let us know in the comments below what you think about everything you've seen so far. Okay, now we're gonna go in depth and talk about his Karma ability. I have a feeling that at high levels of play, both Beelzebub and his opponent are going to need to know what to do in every situation to react to it properly. The light, medium, and heavy version all have different properties and pulling someone in with the wrong move at the wrong time makes it very dangerous for Beelzebub, but using the right pull will be devastating for your opponent. We're going to start off by looking at how to use the gravity orb when your opponent is in the corner. More specifically, Twitter scientist Sergio Noor is going to let us know what we should and shouldn't do after knocking down our opponent in the corner. With the light version of the pole, you can do several things, such as setting up a frame trap, or you can choose to throw them. Your opponent is going to need to move faster than 6 frames to hit you out of the throw. In this situation, their only options are really to jump, defend, or do an invincible reversal. Even supers that don't have invincibility will lose to you. All the same options are available on a knockdown sweep from Down Unique. And you don't need to be in the corner for this. Using the heavy version of the pole, you can get a true meaty attack after any dive kick. The medium pole will give different meaty options. Here's an example of a corner setup that negates normal attacks. And is safe from DP reversals. Here's what happens when you use different poles after your super skybound attack.
The other option is to do the gravity pull after a mid-screen grab or after knockdowns from quarter circle forward heavy and quarter circle back heavy. After the knockdown, you should whiff a light attack, otherwise you may be punished for doing a pull immediately. Here's what could happen if you do a heavy pull. And here's what happens if you do a medium pull. Finally, here's what could happen if you do a light pull. Okay, that was some heavy, heavy stuff. You're on your way to get your PhD, but let's take a break now and use everything we've learned so far to see what mix-up potentials Beelzebub has. By the way, I have a question I want to ask all of you. I need a bit of advice. So in the upcoming combo video, I will be annotating all the combos that I can. But where do you all think I should be putting those annotations? Should I be putting them at the bottom, like my last video? Or should I be putting them at the top? Or in the middle of the screen, like I've seen some other people do it? It's my first time really doing it, so I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below where you think I should be putting the combo annotations. So, thanks! Finally, let's close out the round with Beelzebub's Skybound Art and Super Skybound Art special properties. First of all, always remember that you can hold down the SBA to do 2 to 300 more damage. Even if you trade against the Fireball, your SBA will still give you a big advantage. Your command grab super is actually really short range, especially compared to someone like Ladiva. However, you can creatively turn it into a tick throw by using the forward running momentum. Your super skybound art is air blockable from a distance, but air unblockable when up close. However, it can also completely whiff if your enemy is safe jumping on you. Here's a few different options to deal with your enemy safe jumping on you. So tell me what you all think. To me, he seems almost overpowered and I really am thinking of maining him. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I wrong? Let me know what you think. 
And by the way, huge shout out to all these Twitter scientists that are have written an encyclopedia on this guy already. Three days after he released, go check out their Twitters and follow them. And remember, we haven't even shown his damage potential yet. I will show that in the next video, which is all about combos and spoilers, it's super strong. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to check it out as soon as it comes out. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Last time, a ton of you said you hate me for like telling you guys to like and subscribe all the time. Well, I cut all that out and I only did it twice. Once in the opening and once in the ending. So uh, I hope you're satisfied. Anyways, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again next time.